Hello guys, welcome back to a Pentestress Club. Today we're going to solve another CTF challenge name called Splunk. So how we can conduct and penetration testing on Splunk? How we can get the root privilege access of this Splunk machine? So what is the basic penetration testing methodologies we used here? So the basic penetration testing methodologies we used here, network scanning, enumeration, exploitation, privilege escalation, and read the root flag. So first open the terminal. So first you would like to type network discover minus i is zero. So you need to find your targeted mission here. So once you find your targeted mission, you need to search again with the nmap with a port. So once you get the port, so you can see here, the port is available with uh, 8089. It's in uh, SSL with the HTTP and Splunk B. And another one is 555. And another one is 61. Double three seven. So now we just open the Firefox. So just open the Firefox. So you just enter your targeted IP address here, enter your targeted IP address 192.168.0.311, that's it. So it will not get, so when you go here, when you, oh sorry, so I would like to quit this. So when you go to any terminal, so in a Triple five and double five. You need to go to this targeted thing. So you just copy this. So we need to go to this targeted IP address. So come back here. So there is no zero zero. So you just type uh, triple five. And delete. So we would like to click on this. We would like to delete. So you just open new tab. So enter your targeted IP address 192.168.0.311 and you just type 5555 and dot git. That's it. So here we got it in a git index rule. So how we get it this git index rule in the nmap result we got it here as any git thing. So we directly go to any git repository of this folder. So once you come back here, so we can see here as a locks. So we can click on the locks. Then here is an head. So we can click on this head. So we got it this an hash. And to get a root release access of the Splunk, we need to go to clone this repository. HTTP, you need to clone this flappy.git. So just uh, copy. Now open a terminal. So just type again file new tab so you just type git clone and paste this repository so it will clone the repository so now you just type uh, cd flappy now just type uh, list so here we got it like index.html readme.md and everything so now you just type a uh, git log so we got it a git logs and everything. So we need to specifically what we would like to target. So we would like to look everything here. Come back. So which one uh, in the right uh, axis we would like to get the git logs. So uh, I prefer uh, to going and looking it's coming big bit by bit so I would like to copy this and we would like to look just copy and you just quit. So now you just type uh, git uh, list minus three and paste it this hash here. 
So here we can see here the same thing is any git attributes and readme dot and index.html and secret. So for the secret we would like to copy this one. So we would like to type here git uh, show and paste this. So we got it the username is uh, Sputnik and Amir says thank you for thank you and good job. So now come back here. So we would like to concentrate on another port now. So this is 6113. So just copy this one. So now you just open a Firefox, open new tab here. So you just enter your targeted IP address and you need to paste your targeted port. So we got it a login dashboard directly here in the Splunk. So we need to copy the username and password, come back here, just copy, open this, so enter the username, then again we just copy the password, just copy, open this paste it then click on sign in so once you get to the dashboard of the Splunk so we look around here uh, something like uh, everything so you just click on search and reporting here so we would like to look all the Splunk and we would like to analyze this Splunk. How we can exploit this Splunk and get the river shell and read the root flags. So it's showing a tour. So you just type continue as a tour. Then come back. So for searching uh, this thing, so look this here, here. So here and all everything clear so now you would like to go back again to the Splunk. So now you would like to look on uh, settings. So in the settings, so we would like to get an uh, Splunk shell to exploit it this one. So where we can get it this uh, Splunk shell? So for that we would like to get it from, so we would like to open new tab, we just type uh, Splunk shell github. So we need to search, it in, search in the github of a Splunk shell. So once you get in the DuckDuckGo, we would like to look the targeted uh, Splunk shell. So not this, popping a shell. So but we are not getting as an right shell here. So we would like to type yes, then we can get it, Splunk shells. but we are not getting here. So we would like to look uh, HTTPS github.com so we would like to type at TGB security Splunk shell so here we would like to look either it's available or not here 
yes so we would like to get this uh, pbg security sprung shells so here we got it the weaponizing a splunks with the reverse and bind shells so we would like to get this only so we would like to get a uh, download and release so we would like to get this uh, entire shell then we would like to click on download this yes click on save so we have successfully saved so you need to flow this so we already click on the install app file you need to upload the spunk shell once you upload the spunk shell and you just uh, restart the splunk once you restarted the splunk you need to go to a splunk shells app you need to give for allow all here that's it then we need to pick up the bind shell and shell type uh, the payload of reverse tcp so we need to exploit in this way so we would like to look now go to settings so click on install the app from file So now we would like to click on browse. Now we would like to click on the download. You just click on open. So you got it as Splunk shell. Click on upload. Once you upload it, so you got it. A restart is required. So you just click on the restart now yes so now it's restarting the splunk enterprise so it will restart everything now let's see so we need to wait restarting the splunk enterprise restart successful click ok to lock back into a spell splunk so we need to log in back again so now you just open again so we need to get the username and passwords so this is the username copy open this enter the username and again this is the password just copy back paste it just login so uh, we no need to upload again anything else here so you just uh, click on that's it So we just click on the Splunk. So we no need to. So we no need to go here like uh, systems or something. So we just look here. type uh, such such apps local so we just need to search this so you can see here in the downside weaponizing a splunk for pen testing and red teaming so now we would like to Click on the permissions. As he just, uh, he was, as here was mentioned, so we are flowing these instructions only. 
also come back here so you just need to look here so we need to type for all apps so we are setting a permission for configurations being uh, copied for everyone uh, to access this okay so for all apps so now click on save once we have saved this So now we would like to uh, when you get like all permissions you have set up so we would like to go for here as a search so it's not come so now we would like to come back here So it's for browsing for more apps so we would like to click on search and reporting so now we would like to uh, exploit here directly so now come back here in the terminal so you just type cd you just type clear So just type I have config so it's not come so you need to run in the sudo so you just type sudo su and enter your password so you just type I have config so this is your targeted IP address so just copy so here you need to type netcat lvn p1234 so that's enough so again you would like to copy so for safety purpose so just copy so now you come back here so you need to search uh, something in the Splunk to exploit it here so you just type here so here when you come back here uh, in the Splunk so you says for setting a Metasploit handler uh, we need to use multi handler uh, pick any one of the below so to exploit uh, this so I want to use blind shell shell type port number that's it otherwise it as a reverse shell reverse shell and shell type and attacker IP and attacker port that's it so this is what uh, as a reverse shell so I'm just exploiting here reverse shell so I just type uh, rev shell that's better shell and std and end so you just paste your IP address and enter the port once you enter the port then you just click on the search now you would like to look here so it was connected successfully so you just type ID you are getting so you just type who am I you are successfully connected so you just type which Python you got it here so you just type python minus c import pty pty spam bin bash so uh, here we are not getting uh, again anything else id we are not getting list we are not getting so we need to use as a msf vnub to exploit it this one okay so otherwise we would like to uh, quit this so again we would like to enter with a different port is double four double four now come back here so I would like to enter double four double four then click on run so again open the terminal so 
now you just type id it's blank so you just type sudo minus l no tt presented as no ask pass program is specified so how we would like to specify this so we would like to go as this one So otherwise we gonna get it by uh, pen test monkey. So just open new tab. You just type pen test monkey. So we just go to a pen test monkey as a reversal cheat sheet. So now I would like to get here as an Python one. So we would like to get. So now I have got it here, Python one. So just copy this one. Click on close this. So uh, I just want to open here as an another notepad so you just paste it here so the IP address is here is the IP address so we would like to make it big here is an IP address so come back here so enter your targeted IP address 192.168.0. what is your uh, IP address is one one zero one one zero that's it so don't enter the same port so you just change the port is seven eight nine zero that's it so now entirely you just copy this one just copy this one minimize this so now you just type uh, id you are getting you just type who am i you are getting and you just type uh, which python you are getting so as it same as similar uh, open a new tab so you just type sudo su and enter your password you just type netcat lvnp 7890 that's it so you just need to enter this uh, python your programming just enter so you are successfully connected as an a tt shell that's it but here is an turn off but you just type id you are getting so you just type python minus c import pty pty span bin bash so we are successfully come to an splunk directly now so now we would like to look what we would like to look here again so you just type id we got it so now we would like to type sudo minus l so what is the password of this where we have we have deleted the password so again we would like to go here so you just type cd what is this so as we know the password as already so we no need to go and look all those things again so you i just want to enter the, i would like to come back here so i don't want to open again another document so come back here 
so I just need to enter the password Amir says thank you and good job so this is the password so we just need to copy this password just copy now come back here so just paste the password I mean say say thank you and good job so it's matching so now we are to get a root act privilege access uh, sometimes it's like bin and ed now we are getting bin and bin and bash or sh now it's ed so now you just type sudo ed so you need to type here bin sh so we have successfully got the root privilege access so you just type id we are in the root so you just type cd root list minus l here we got it here so you just type cat flag.txt so we have successfully completed this lab so you try it around guys thank you guys for watching and keep smiling